Okay, went to take garbage out. Finally, I could leave my room. I was safe enough to do it. And finally, I was safe enough to take the garbage out. No, the DCPD and dirty, corrupted, abusing power feds, US agent feds, blah, blah, are not gonna come and knock on my door because I'm talking about their terrorists in their violent domestic terrorist cell. Okay, but I wanna make this short. I went to take the garbage out. I stood on the porch. A black man with a white woman were strolling casually and proudly past this house. Now this place is under surveillance. Some people are, like these two that walked by, able to probably be cognizant of that. Very, very definite fact especially with the activity that goes on here that I do not talk about and cannot talk about, all right? So um, other people have to be somewhat cognizant of that. So they still walk by this house strolling, casual. I don't need to describe it to the Pentagon because the Pentagon sees it. Black man and white woman in their early 50s. He looks at me, he looks away and he goes, <coughs> <clears throat> and he makes this disgusting, deep-throated three grunts, so loud, so pointed, so obvious. As I stand, a survivor of absolutely brutal fucking homicides that I know I witnessed. The police activity here knows is happening, so on and so forth. That's concrete, dude. But he, as an American, in fact, he was wearing an American flag on his T-shirt, has the right to protest. I don't know that this is too okay here. It is okay for him to proudly walk by as a rites to passage, the domestic violence, whatever I'm saying, domestic, God damn that fucking garage. Let's film them. Motherfuckers don't quit here. This is 24 hours a day, this fucking shit here. Wave. He, he. Don't forget the dirty feds and DCPD aren't coming for me. Oh, good, it's him. That's Timothy McVeigh. The whole gang over there. They are dangerous. They got a lot of people in DC scared. I want to fucking get his attention. I want. There he goes. There he goes. Timothy McVeigh, okay? Okay, let's go back to what I was saying. Yeah, so they come and go and do all this shit right in front of the Pentagon. I'm not, and I can't, no matter what, I cannot talk about the police activity that I know is happening here. I can't. <sighs> okay, so he's wearing an American flag on his shirt and he grunts and lets me know how disgusted he is by seeing me standing on the porch with this huge crate of garbage I'm doing, you know, a woman all on her own. Doing all on her own. This is what I do here, dude. I told you that. They're perfectly fine with me living the way I do. And they're just waiting for me to be killed here in DC. Yesterday was so fucking clear. I don't need to do this anymore on YouTube. Okay, so this guy and this woman make sure they let me know, as Americans do, they're protesting my presence on my own porch, surviving a brutal terrorist cell that makes bombs on the fucking Instagram. Everybody knows it. The cops know it's concrete. This is declared Washington, D.C.'s domestic violent terrorist cell. Whatever, I, I'm getting my words jumbled. There's too many terrorists all the time here. I don't know what to call this. I'm frazzled. All I know is I couldn't come out all day. The, the female had pipes and glass and clank, clank and flushing and she's making fucking bombs. She's blasting her phone. There's one there. There's two out there. They're fucking crawling. They never fucking leave their terror cell. They're so fucking proud of it here. They're famous. They're celebrity terrorists. 
on my way back from the garbage, a fucking cop, a white cop, DCPD, drives by proudly past me. The motherfuckers are trying to kill me on a daily basis in their terrorist cell. Do you know how fucking pissed I am? All right, so I'm standing on the porch. This man wants to protest my presence in my own country, standing on a porch that I survived fucking brutal murder from. And he walks away. He proudly, casually enjoying himself. And they're always with people. The DC civilians are always buddied up. They got lots of friends. They're never fucking all alone, striving to survive in abject poverty. No, that's how I live here. That's my damnation. I come back in after seeing a DCPD SUV officer driving up 15th, and I was harassed by a bald-headed homeless black woman. After the black guy that <clears throat> almost fucking loogied me and chalked up a loogie on the side of me, another black woman on the other side of the street was stopped. She stopped. A, she's by the construction yard. She stopped and she just stared at me from across the street. It was fucking twilight zone. And then she started walking again. And then she started hollering shit at me. Um, <clears throat> all right. So they just take note of all this. On my way back in, the terrorist on floor three was still bomb making, still flushing the toilet. I'm not going to talk about everything else that's been going on here for the Pentagon, okay? There's been massive terrorist activity. Some of it's fucking horrifying. <sighs> They've got me trapped in a fucking terrorist cell of cops, afraid to talk about it. Because the cops will come abuse their power and arrest me for talking about the terrorists. All the police activity of real cops, not terrorists, I can't talk about, but it's because of them that these fuckers don't come for me and enable and protect their terrorists to make these fucking little mini nukes. Whatever the fuck that woman is doing in that bathroom, they need to search that shit. Okay, I came back. The cunt is still at it. I'm putting this on the internet. Goodbye.